Hey y'all, I'm back in the kitchen whipping it up, whip, whip, whipping it up. So tonight I'm gonna make some mashed potato casserole. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm a little ahead of the game, but I cut up some carrots and some broccoli and I'm boiling them so they'll be a little soft, you know, not too hard in my potato casserole. Then over here, I cut up some mushrooms. I just got some white mushrooms, but you can do shiitake, you can do, um, what's that? The Bella, yeah. And I got some onions and I got some peppers. So let's do this. Okay, so I moved my carrots and my broccoli back there to the back so I can get started with my onions, peppers, and mushrooms. I'm gonna start off, I got my butter in the pan, sorry that simmered up. I had to turn my eye down because it was on go. So I'm gonna put a little minced garlic in there. Give it about 20 seconds. And then I'm gonna get my onions and peppers going. Now I'm gonna get this about two, three minutes before I add my mushroom so it can start making its own flavor. I got my carrots and my broccoli back there and some broth and butter just to give it a little flavor. So my onions and peppers got a little brown on them, so I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my mushrooms so that I can add some seasoning and let everything cook together before I start my mashed potatoes. I did cover my broccoli and carrots just to keep the steam in there. But I'm actually gonna turn it off and let the heat that's left over finish it up. Okay, so I gave my mushrooms and onions about a minute. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasoning and then I'll give it a few more, a few more minutes together to bond its flavor. So that was my Himalayan salt. Okay, so I added Himalayan salt. I'm doing the Tony's original right now. Not too much of that. Too much Tony's, they, that'll give you a little kick. Um, and I'm already gonna do smoked paprika, so I don't want too much of a kick. But I got my garlic and herb. No salt. I'm gonna add a little nutritional yeast. So the nutritional yeast is gonna give me a cheesy flavor. Um, people use this for like tofu or pumfu when I'm making eggs, or you can use it in your um, vegetable lasagna. It has multiple purposes. But yeah, so. And my smoked paprika. And I'm just gonna mix all this together and let it marinate together while I get ready to make my mashed potatoes. Okay, so with my mashed potatoes, I'm gonna start out with some water. But I'm gonna add a little milk in there as well. This is my brand of mashed potatoes. I'm using the red meal. You see it's vegan. I'm gonna wait till my water boil up a little bit, but I am gonna add a little Himalayan salt in there. Not too much. And I'm gonna let my water boil up and then I'm gonna start getting my mashed potatoes going. Okay, so I'm still waiting on my water for my mashed potatoes to warm up. But this is my carrots and broccoli. And I'm just going to add that to my mushroom, pepper, and onion mix. 
just so that everything that I'm adding into the mashed potato casserole starts getting its own flavor together. But what I don't want to do is get all the juice. I don't want too much juice. Um, Cause I don't want my mashed potatoes to be super watery. I don't want them to be thick, but I don't want them to be too watery either. So I'm gonna hold off on all the juice. Because I didn't put no seasoning on my um, carrots and broccoli, I did add a little tonies uh, to it, to my mixture one more time, just to make sure that everything had seasoning on it before I topped my mashed potatoes with my toppings to formulate the casserole. So I got my water going. As you can see, she ready. I'm gonna go ahead and turn her off. And now that I turn her off, I'm gonna start adding my mashed potatoes. Cause she gonna cook herself. But I don't want her to be, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. She getting crazy, she getting crazy, she getting crazy. Tell her to calm down, tell her to calm down. Okay, so. My mashed potatoes is definitely thickening up. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of my milk to get her to thin out and calm down because she's getting crazy. Chill, just chill. It's okay, it's okay. I need some more mashed potatoes because right now I got more toppings than mashed potatoes. And you see it thickening up. So I'm just going to add some more milk. Got my potatoes about done. I added some butter. I don't know if you can see them, but they are about perfect for my liking. Um, you can do this with real potatoes. I just didn't have no real potatoes. I already had the mashed potatoes, so I just did it this way. But you can do it any way you want to. But once you get them um, real potatoes boiling, you don't have to actually peel them, depending on what kind you get and then um, mash them up but you know that okay so let's layer this casserole real quick so the first thing i'm gonna do is put my mashed potatoes in so because i didn't i don't have as much as i thought i was gonna have i'm gonna switch pans to my low pan and I'm gonna still put my mashed potatoes at the bottom. I'm sure I'm thinning them out because I keep switching pans. Anywho. Then I'm gonna top it with my, my toppings. My mushrooms, onions, peppers, broccoli. I'm putting all that on top of my mashed potatoes. See, now, if I would have put everything on the bottom and then put the mashed potatoes on top, I would have had a shepherd's pie. Um, a vegan shepherd's pie. But I'd rather do a casserole. So I'm just going to put this on top. And then I'm going to top it with some cheese. I thought I had more cheese than this. Yeah. But it's all good. I'm going to top it with some cheese. Okay, on top of my cheese, I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs. I have already preheated my oven to 350. And then on top of the breadcrumbs, I got some Parmesan. I am going to add my Parmesan on top. I'm 
my petal tip. Okay. And now I'm just gonna add it in the oven. For, I don't know, like 10, 15 minutes. About 10, 15 minutes or until I finish cleaning and rolling. And then we'll see what we looking like. Okay, so I just took out the oven. This is what it's looking like. I did end up boiling it just to um, toast up my breadcrumbs a little bit. But I'm gonna get a little slice so I can taste it. Okay, so. It's steamy. But I'm so thankful for it. Let's see. Oh, it's good. It's good. I like that. I like it. Y'all should definitely try it. Quick, easy. Um, try it. Subscribe, like, tell a friend. Other than that, that was cooking in the kitchen with Jamika. Cooking in the kitchen with Jamika. Deuces.